Welcome back, and when we last left off, uh, this particular plug um, was in the process of getting glass by um, Chris and Roberto, and this is the next morning, so this is uh, Wednesday morning, and so that's been uh, all done. And then um, the other one had actually uh, come off the mill as well, and um, Devin and Zach quickly went and got that one glassed up. So both of those now uh, will be ready uh, to have some putty sprayed on there and as you recall we're sort of trying to rush these ones through so we can get the um, molds made and this is the first one there um, with the putty sprayed on there and just running the ball mill on there and that basically ran um, for you know quite a few hours over the evening on Wednesday night to get that one underway just because the whole thing was done with a ball mill it was just quicker to do it that way than create a whole bunch of different paths for it and here's the second one getting underway and this one uh, because of that sort of st uh, steep face on the side there decided to run a swarf cut along the sides there first and then uh, use the ball mill on the rest of it and here you can see just a little bit of a close-up how the swarf cut so it just uses the side of the bit of the end mill there just to take off what it needs to and that way you get a, a nice smooth finish on that face rather than just sort of going up and down um, with the ball mill so here's the first one, often um, with a guide coat on there and uh, halfway through, or nearly all the way through the first round of sanding, and I believe Zach was working on that one. And in the meantime, here's the uh, upper wing skin on the right side, mold, or plug, sorry. And uh, that one got a coat of primer and also the guide coat on there, and that's underway for the um, second round of sanding on there before it gets the last coat of primer. And here we are just over halfway through um, this one for these um, braces. So that's again with the ball mill running there. And I didn't put such a tight tight step over on there this time so it'd be quicker um, because again we're in a bit of a hurry. And a couple of hours later it's off the mill and it's already had its guide coat and mostly uh, sanded there. It just needs the sides to be sanded there. So a little bit of marks there from where that swarf cut was but nothing that we can't fix. And Roberto and Chris were in again uh, on Wednesday in the sanding on this uh, upper wing skin right side plug to get that one closer moving along. And here's Zach just finishing the uh, first round of sanding on this one. And he's just working the little, some of the little corner spots so it didn't take long uh, to get that one done. I mean, pretty much got the process down now after all the plugs that we've done over the last year or so. And this is the left side upper wing skin plug, and so this one also um, got its first coat of primer put on there, so that'll be getting a guide coat uh, soon, and then the um, next round of sanding on that one. So we're getting close to getting all these wing plugs done. And here's the first of the new ones there for those uh, gear braces. So that one got its uh, first round of primer uh, yesterday, and there's the other one, same deal with that one. So moving those ones along uh, quickly, which is what we were hoping for. And meanwhile, Mark has made some great progress on the engine mount. Here you can see he sent it through um, a handful of pictures for us, and we should be getting that back uh, next week, and then we'll be able to start the process of um, mounting the engine up to the engine stand, and then, you know, heading in the direction of getting it running. Um, and then other news, um, we discovered a couple of minor issues on the wing spar that we laid up a little while back, um, but enough that would warrant us from uh, to lay it up again, so that's something we're going to have to do um, and that's going to cost us about a day unfortunately but better to do it right than sort of know that you've got a problem and, and go forward with it without fixing it anyway so the engine mount is looking good there and um, be excited to get that one uh, soon so moving on to the exciting stuff I created these little brackets here um, just out of some scrap carbon fiber that we had that we trimmed off one of the parts and uh, allows us to sort of um, hold the windows into place while they get bonded into place and I put some sort of bolts on the end there so you can actually increase the tension that um, is holding there without overly doing it like a clamp would do it just puts a nice amount of tension on there and uh, pretty simple to put together so anyway here um, I'm just cleaning off after uh, in preparation cleaning off the edges of the window where it's going to be bonded into place and same here here's the, the um, B pillar there just uh, cleaning that off um, it's already obviously been sanded and prepped and same with the inside there of um, inside the fuselage 
So just basically cleaning it off with some alcohol just to make sure there's no dust or anything left on there before bonding it. And you recall the goal was to have the carbon fiber show through there through the, the actual acrylic and then here's the one on the other side so this is the left side of the aircraft just cleaning that off and you see you've got a nice little carbon fiber layup that we did there it was basically fresh so it was nice clean uh, layup and here's Jeff um, putting the high sole and we have two different kinds of high sole now this one is a clear high sole it, it dries clear basically and uh, the other one we have um, is a grey high sole and we'll be using that for bonding most of the um, different parts together and then you see he's put it on the window as well and then we have it in place and we've basically clamped it in there and we've cleaned off the high sole that sort of squeezed out through the gaps there on both the outside and the inside and then you can see the four different clamps that I have there and they're basically just um, putting pressure on the, the frame of the window so it's pushed nicely into the fuselage there and uh, yeah, just you just hand tighten those little bolts there and it just puts a little bit more pressure on there. So those worked out great and didn't have to do any weird stuff, just a little Clico hole in the inside skin and we just block those up later. And not a problem, there's one on the left hand side, same thing there. So it didn't take us long to put those in and uh, they're now bonded into place. So that's the first part actually being bonded together now, so it's kind of exciting and a bit of a milestone uh, for us. So next we'll be uh, trying to get those braces done that we're working on those molds and then relaying up the spar. And then we'll have a bunch of different things that can all go together. Um, we still have to do the door frames too, but those are ready to go as well and they should only take a day to lay those up. And other news, we're also still um, got more progress happening on the stuff for the belt drive system. Things have been, uh, other parts have been sent out for milling um, and the shafts have been sent out for milling now, so that'll be progressing. So I'll have more updates on that um, in the coming uh, updates. And uh, as you can see there, we still have the packing tape on those windows to protect them in case you're wondering what, what those lines are there. But if you look through on the B-pill there, you can see the carbon fiber already sort of showing through there. So as that high sole dries, it dries clear. Anyway, so excited about the progress we're making and uh, that's our update for this week. And thanks again for watching.